what up homies it's your man's coach Schmetter. we coming to you live from our ps3 it is currently week six episode six of our gonzaga bulldogs hey, university shit. restricted dynasty I'm, I'm gonna butcher that every time it's, it's a lot of words our last game we got kind of pushed around by ucla but we've had a bye week since then it is now the start of conference play our first opponent will be the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Just looking at them, we are pretty much on par. They're, they're, they're a little better than us, but uh, we're pretty much on par. This will be the first time we play an opponent that we're, we may be just as good as, where we may have the better athletes at, at, you know, on the field as far as our first 40, 44. I don't, I don't include kicker, punter. You're not really football players. But <clears throat> before we get into that, our guys, where you, where they spent their points this week, let's take a quick look at it. We'll always go, you know, we'll start at quarterback, go through the offense, and then just, just, just R2 our way across the roster. Womack put his into stamina this week. Uh, Darius Johnson put his into a wick. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm a dirty liar. Womack put his into acceleration. Yeah. Johnson put his into awareness. Payne, who has been going up every week regardless, put one into catch. Mr. Marshall put one into stamina. Eanes, who had a point stored up, put one into strength and tackling. Inna, who also had a point stored up, put into speed and awareness. And last but certainly not least, Ware, who also had a point stored up, put into speed and block shit. So that's how the our uh, inaugural recruiting class guys use their points. Some of them didn't use theirs. Some of them haven't elected to uh, get involved with it yet. But that's okay, because the guys who are, hey, we are the baby bulldogs at this point. And they're they're growing along with the team. Uh, very interesting. A concept that came up was not everybody who joins the team is going to start. And some some guys may redshirt, which means they'll have an entire season of growing their character. So hey, look out for that. If you're if you're a starter, somebody's always going to be coming for your spot. That's just how it is at Gonzaga. On to UNLV. Ah. Uh, at the top, they're stronger than us. But then, once you, once you really get into it, we're kind of a mirror image of each other. Except they're they're a little more athletic. They're a little faster here, a little stronger there. But as far as I'm concerned, they can be had. And if we play right, we should we we should beat them. We've proven we can compete against better. We will definitely focus Devonte Boyd. He's their best overall player. They don't really have the speed to force us into anything else their offensive line can be had we're gonna get mr ware on their we're gonna flip him a lot and get him matched up on their right tackle and just let him go one-on-one -on -one. this, this will be a game where we rush for a lot uh defensively i think we can attack him in the secondary we can attack him with the run it just kind of depends on what they're going to give us uh you know we, we, we attack numbers they don't have dynamic players who are going to punish us for being not so strong with our offensive line and yeah that's pretty much it like I, th I think we can get him uh Vea, he's strong solid player uh he'll maybe get a, a practice squad look they've got they've got two guys like that on their defense other than that everybody can get some like if we, there's a lot of matchups where we see it we'll take Herbie making the right decision. This is the first time he's picked us. This is also our first home game of the series. You guys, so that means you guys are gonna get to hear some of the the stadium sounds we've got in, uh, including our fight song when we score, which we inevitably be score because our offense has been playing very well. Last game was the last time we turned the ball over a lot of times. But other than that, no injuries on our side. A couple on their side, including their starting right tackle. So we are really going to abuse that matchup with Ware. Just, just, he should eat. This will be a game where he should eat. Uh, you see our schedule. All, all close games except for that last one, UCLA. Like I said, they beat us down. 
but it was four back-to-back -back road games. Not even a Pac-12 team plays four back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back road games. That's what we just came off of. We got a week, and now it's our <laughs> conference schedule. And just looking at it, we see teams like San Diego State, BYU, Wyoming, uh, Fresno. Those are, those are all teams that are stronger than us on paper. But I think we have a chance to do really well. Nevada and Las Vegas, back-to-back -back wins over Central Michigan and a FCS school out the Northwest. Which, why they pick it on the Northwest, I don't know. We got pretty good football out here, but they get us next. I don't know how much they really want us. Uh, Desiree, two picks the last game. Other than that, he's been pretty efficient for us. Womack leading our staple of running backs. He'll probably get a lot of work today. And Payne, who has come on as a uh, as more than just a guy who runs streaks and and curls and tunnel screens, he's started started to win a little more on the slants, getting that uh that catch rating up. He can hold on a little more in the in the in the uh, in the middle of the field. But uh, he's he's currently leading our receivers. All of the guys are very close. I think I think he's like two yards ahead of Marshall, and then like maybe five or six ahead of of Corey Mansfield. So. It's, it's a bit of the same thing with our receivers as it is with our rushing game. It's a three-headed monster. Defense, of course, led by Enna. Uh, Eanes has been coming on really strong. Cornerbacks have been playing solid. Our tackling has taken a hit over the past couple of weeks, but that's okay. It's time to get right. And Mr. Ware, he's going to have a chance against some of these offensive lines in the Mountain West. Looking at the Nevada Las Vegas Rebels. Quarterback play has been inconsistent. Uh, he's not a very scary quarterback. He doesn't have he doesn't have at any attributes where we look at it and like, okay, this can hurt us. He's just a Division I starter. Uh, same thing with White, uh, Whiteley. Good player. He's probably their most consistent player offensively outside of their receiver, Boyd, who, even though he, he's, their, he's a go-to guy, not a big downfield threat, only 9.5 yards per catch. And defensively, like I said, we're, we're really looking at the, the strong safety and the right outside backer, which those guys are going to be on both, uh, both on the same side of the field. So we like our matchups outside, regardless of who it is. And we're going to I think we're going to be able to attack them. I think we're going to have a good day offensively. De defensively, it's a chance to kind of make up for some uh, poor performances. But we'll see. Let's go get to it. Producing teams who could knock off schools from the so-called big conferences. A high level of football being played in the Mountain West. We expect a great matchup today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Another pistol offense. <clears throat> Hands it to the back. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. We were, we were on that. To look at what these you know offenses can do to us. Oh, it's the screen. Wait a step. Kenny just sat on it. Kenny saw the screen and diagnosed it pretty quickly. <clears throat> Plant. Oh, Mansfield with the catch, Desiree with a throw. Okay. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch. Throws it out right to the running back. Oh. They'll bring him down around the 32-yard line. That time it took it took three moves, but we got the <laughs> we, we we finally got the uh, the, the corner flat-footed. Here's play number 10 on the drive. All right, so let's get some mesh. They've been playing a lot of man. We're gonna try to get some mesh action with their their linebacker, and he's either gonna deal with. Uh, we're either gonna go at uh, Marshall. I'm looking at the three routes on the right. I mean, on the left. Okay, it is man. Got a step. Ah, oh, no chance. Around the seven yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense I mean, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep rocking this. Uh, Going back Mitchell up. Okay, we pass committed. Wow, he got hit by everybody. 
that actually was poor defense by me. I, t I turned my hips instead of just dropping into my zone because I wanted to get to the middle of the field and take away the vertical strike, but it is what it is. Okay, we'll go inside zone this time, get those linemen up to the, uh, to the second level, which there is no second level now. Okay. Once again, not being, not being cute. Not being cute, just getting vertical. Just getting vertical in the run game. Hondas is not gonna catch. Uh oh, hold on. You're exposing yourself a little bit here. Pain, just go. Not man. Oh my God, slow. I was slow. I was slow. It looked like zone, and then they jumped the two routes to the flat and I was slow on the pass so slow that he could come all the way down and okay that's not on Dez but they confused me on that play screen Caps is just not Athletic. Not a good throw. Not a good throw by Decker. I, they may have had it. I think we were we were there. Womack out for the game with a concussion. Not good. Not good. He was having a really good day. He's to the 20. Tries to get around the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31. He good return by Darius Johnson. The so the run game falls on Johnson, Marokin, and I gotta be honest, our third and fourth running backs, I think it's Haley, Harley, is gonna be on Dez in this receiving core. I don't think either team has Even though they, they don't uh, they don't appear to want to let us do that. Ooh, that not man zone. I was kind of late on that throw, but not so late that the guy can come all the way from the other side of the field. They did try to confuse me. No second level. I don't think this guy on the far outside left lined up outside of our tackle and I guess a wide nine. I don't think he's going to get there. And it pays off. Touchdown. Yeah, Johnson's gonna have to be a bigger part of our run game this week because we're down Womack. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's gonna run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. <sighs> okay, we're just not gonna put those on there. So we're gonna take that away. We're gonna come after him. First down grab by the receiver. They'll bring him down. At about wow, they have just really nice pick up there. this whole drive. Defense gambled a bit here and came with the blade. Which will come out. Okay, verticals. Here they come. He heaves it to the end zone. Oh God, Todd, you have got to see the ball. You're one of our better def better cornerbacks but you're not as good as a receiver. Mm. This time, we've got good numbers on this side. Okay, just don't get caught by the... No! They're one dude. Just enough, because that was, that, was, that was six. That was six. Oh man, that was six. Are there two dudes? All right, we're gonna bring that big dig. Oh, why is he coming down? Is this a zone blitz? Are they opening up the flats? They are opening up the flats. Zips it to the back. <clears throat> Could not make two men miss. It wasn't the t the type of juke I wanted. I don't know if Johnson was tired, or or what just happened. That wasn't. He may have been tired. 
Well, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution okay. that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Oh, no spy. They put so much time in. Wow! Time what? And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So you've got I don't like what's going on with our with, with our corner arm, out there. His legs too. That is a tough like what? To stop. We went into a conservative tackle and my man just whiffed. Didn't even wasn't big hit. They get out of it. Something similar. Okay. Just make the tackle. Good solid tackle. Good solid tackle. Good tackle by where they're to end the drive. They missed the field goal. Okay. Receiver. We hope can make a comeback. So now we're, we're hoping we've got two tight ends out there. Okay. Pain in the open field. And down he goes. Right around the four. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering. Okay, so this time we're running pain up the middle, up the seam, and Mansfield across. Hopefully they're not blitzing. Okay, looks like we're going to have time. Steps up in the pocket, and they get the second. We had the big post. We had the big post. Just no time. No time. No time. Oh, man. We had it. We had it. This one's all even at 10. All right, so it's halftime, homies. You know what that means. First of all, like the video if you haven't already. Comment. I'm not Hollywood. I usually respond. Share. And sub if you aren't already subbed. And if you want to become one of the recruits on the team, hey. Like I said, like, comment, share, sub, get in the comment section, interact with the guys. The actual players are all over the comment section, and they they talk back. So, big elephant in the room. We lost Womack for the game, the concussion. Uh, hopefully, he's back next week. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't think it said major concussion. I think it said, I think it was a mild concussion. Because I think there are certain concussions where I, I, I believe this may, it may be mad, but where it'll knock you out for the whole season. So I think he might be out for a week, maybe two. We'll see. It's just been a half of uh, missed opportunities. Adjustments. I don't think we need to necessarily adjust on either side of the ball. We got to be ready for them to take more shots because we did get exposed. Uh, we, when I'm, when I'm leaving a guy on an island, it just does not work. We don't have the talent. So we got to kind of keep mixing up where those island shots for our opponent can be. Even U UNLV. Like this is... This is, this is a team that's, they're at our level. And you can kind of see in the inconsistency of both teams, especially they're, they're one for five on third down. That's a, their, their quarterback play has been pretty poor except for one drive. Our quarterback play has been actually really good. And we've just been missing the opportunity. That last play, we had it. We had it. The, the safety ran with Smiley, and we just didn't have time. It's, it's hard for us to take those shots without the offensive line to hold up. So we got to figure out a way. We're going to move Johnson around a lot. I don't want Johnson having to carry the ball 10, 15 times the second half. Marroquin, he's going to be involved. But we got to, uh, I think we just got to, we're going to go to the air and then kind of kind of take our matchups and force them to give us what, what we want. Because we don't, we don't, we don't, we want man two. We can beat them in man two. But we don't want to keep having to throw into man two, so we'll see what they give us. We'll take what we'll take what they give us. Uh, hopefully, we just we we don't turn the ball over again. And defensively, yeah, just keep playing good. Defense is playing really good right now. So that is the adjustment. Let's go get them, boys. Here comes the pressure. Oh, just don't fumble. <laughs> don't fumble. This is man two or three. We'll see. Okay, looks like man. Marshall, of course. Uh-oh. Dead leg. Of course Marshall won his route. I we, we, we may have could have taken a... No, nah, good coverage. 
I'm thinking we had the post. They put that linebacker in the middle of the field. And Marshall just, just separated. Getting hurt. Hard inside shade on the right here. Can he get across? Can he cross face? Yes, he can. Oh, wow. Yes. Ooh, almost, almost, almost got in the end zone. We had a step there. So somehow he gave up. He had inside leverage. He gave it up. And then watch the step. Oh. Oh. If I believe this was man, we would take it, but we're going to go with that 225 pound guy. Good block. Good block. I don't know if that was our center or our right guard. I, but the, uh, the run of the base, our baby is always the base. Unless we play a team like UCLA who tries to take it away. But yeah, Marroquin is our guy. And we, we picked up the, the, the linebacker who looked like they were going to shoot the gap. All right. He's got room. They'll bring him down. Ow. The 33. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the I like when Kenny Schmike like that. Nice gain of five. I like when Kenny come downhill and say, hey, uh. Okay, screen. A little toss across the middle. Ooh, the back to back Schmikes. If it wasn't if it wasn't our strong safety, it was definitely gonna be Kenny again. That that whole possession just just an angry defense coming out and saying y'all ain't gonna do what y'all did at the end of the first half we haven't run the 617 much what we'll do if it's man we're going to marshall if it's zone we'll just take these yards they're giving us with pain man marshall oh wow good route he's got room to work and they push him out around the 48 yard line good route just just destroyed him had a, had, the, had the defender just dead Yeah, we're just gonna kind of attack them. Okay. Oh, I see you, Payne. I don't know what I don't I off top know what his release rating is, but on these slants, he's gotten really good at beating the slant. He destroyed it that time. All right, we're gonna force them to see to show us what they're doing. Good finish. Good finish. I really thought they were going to be a man, but that, they gave him just too much space on the stick. 21 yard line. It's second down. All right. Good D. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a good defense. If you can get in there and Which means the Eans is going to be the one dropping in the middle. Todd, what are you doing? Nice job of picking up the that should have at least been a SWAT. We were going for the pick. We undercut it. Todd has let us down on multiple occasions in this game. Oh no, 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 no one else stepped up. We got no, no, nobody shed. Which, if they really stick to the run, it, it can cause us problems. We know, we know that, we know how that story goes. What is going on? That was a good run. He was being mad elusive. But we also... Ah. We just get nothing out of that front three. Nothing. Not a, not a shed. Not a... If we aren't blitzing into the gaps, we get nothing. Not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Not tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 24-17, Bulldog. Okay, they are blitzing. Gets it. He's in space. The comeback was taken. As much as I'd like to run that concept, 
He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the We just don't have the time. I stepped to the left to create a little, you know, a little more time. Smiley was able to get the ball. Smiley's got some speed too. But we just weren't able to, to really get going what, what we wanted to get going out there. The only guy I got on the field. We don't run zone read much. Oh, hold on. We got some some tired DBs out there. Okay, just get oh, just get down. Looks like the, I think they're in man too. But he turned immediately. Okay, there's middle field open. I'm hoping we can get Marshall there. No time for Marshall, but Scott's able to get in the middle of the field. When I see middle field open and that safety rolls over to close it, then we got to go to the, 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 the big crossing route because the uh, the post is only going to get up top if the crossing route pulls them. The crossing route didn't pull them. They were expecting Marshall. But uh, you know what I'm saying? When you think that we think that you think that we think that you think, we think again. And, and that's what I'm telling these kids in the locker room after the game, and I'm sticking to it. That was a good throw. Oh, no. Oh, that's all bad. And then, I don't like how often that happens. We are there. Even when they read it, I've got two guys there. Oh, good collapse. Good collapse. Eans and Ware, good collapse. Just blew that play up. Okay, screen. Quick pass. He's tackled. Good, 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 good uh, pursuit. In a first, making the read. Eans getting there with his speed. I'm just going to stand here. Oh no, they threw it over the middle. And then we face masked. Triple option. And then we got reached. It doesn't make sense how we get well, it does make sense. We're we're not good up front. We our three guys, none of them require a double team. And it exposes our linebackers who are smaller, faster guys. So unless we get someone shooting the gap, we pretty much get nothing. Time in the game. It could still go either way. All right. All right. So when we go with the two tight ends, they give us these guys on the field. We got to get up to 55. Oh, get busy, Johnson. Get busy. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Get busy, young man. It might be blitzing. What is the safety on the left doing? What are you doing? You know what? I got trust issue. Uh oh, hold on. Now, now, now you're doing something stupid. Throws it deep. Intercepted. Oh no. Oh, you got to throw. Ah. Uh, and the face mask. Wow. Now I'm doing something stupid. That penalty I mean, I didn't, I didn't face mask, jam. but so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. I, I believe we may have got on top of them, but we did not get the throw we wanted. Where I'm putting you in a position where you cannot get eaten up by the zone read. Not zone read screen. Once again, I went for the big play with Anna. We read the, we read it and forced everything back inside, but I'm I'm on zone read, so if they if they pull it out, that was a good play by Ware. Ware beat the uh, the, the right tackle around the edge. Oh, he brought him back. Corner. Good tackle. Good open field tackle. 
little bit of a little bit of coach coach on coach right there. Go for it here. They have a tight end over there, so we got to switch from where this comes from. He dropped it. He straight up just dropped it. We ran off man, and uh, yeah, he dropped it. All right, so we don't get we don't get we don't entirely get punished. First down. That dude just dropped it in the clutch. We haven't run trap all game. Find somebody. Whoa. I don't know which safety that was, but he just he just took one of them L's where you when film session comes up, you're just like, ow. You can get them to believe. When I motion Marshall, I want that linebacker on the right to at least take a half step to his right. Oh wow. That's ball game. That's ball game. That's, that's just Marquin being uh, opportunistic, but that 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 last tackle that is that's not how that usually goes. Work. This is Gonzaga. Here at Gonzaga, we have class. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And we're gonna take our sweet time. One twenty-four. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in. After this game, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Now, granted, there is a, 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 a rivalry aspect. This, this is going to become a team we play every year type stuff. You know, we're going to see them as, you know, their roster turns over, as their coaching staff turns over. We did not play very well offensively and it wasn't like a uh that we played bad we just didn't play very well you know we our offense is always based around what are you giving us and sometimes we try to take this game we tried to we got cute because it was unlv tried to take and it was honestly that that was on the coach that was on the coaches it wasn't on the players uh a little bit of you know uh, the situation with the with the with the with the with the streaked pain, where it's like, okay, we're trying to ask guys to do more than what they're capable of right now, because all season Desiring has been efficient. In this game, the two picks, one late, uh, the defense did they, they successfully confused us because we were thinking it was man. I mean, no, we were thinking zone. The way their flat defenders played, it looked like man, but. We also got to know Desiring does not have the arm to throw certain types of passes when you're late. We don't. We don't have. He didn't. He didn't have that yet. So we can't be late on stuff. Everything has to be on time. Uh, Marshall played really, really good. Payne and uh, Marshall. That tandem outside is really turning into matchup problems. The running game. We took a hit when 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 Womack goes down. He's the balance guy. He's the He's the constant, you know. We can expect certain things when he's got the ball. Johnson, it's a lot more hit or miss because, you know, he's he's the speed guy. Got got a couple of big, uh, couple of big runs out of him. It keeps happening where he's one step and one guy gets just a piece. Because Johnson has probably had five or six times where he just have a big 60, 70 yard run. It just a guy gets a piece of him. Defensively, very very good. We were very, we were very good. Uh, some individual plays where we got exposed, but for the most part, our strategy worked. Um, we were able to hold them down. Only get, gave up less than 300 y to uh, yards total. Gave up less than 12 first downs. Throughout this conference schedule, we we know we're gonna get out of Inna. We know we kind of know we're gonna get out of Eans, which is both of them can they can run sideline to sideline. Eans more the cover guy. Inna more the once again, stabilizer. But with where we start getting these certain matchups, and it, it's going to put pressure on their quarterbacks to make moves. Like they can't sit in the pocket and pat, pat, pat. I hate watching a quarterback pat, pat, pat. Like he's he's holding the ball and he's looking and he's looking and he's looking. He's on his third and his fourth read, and it's just like he hasn't had to move his feet yet. What? No, no, no. 
we got to get him off get him off his perch and and put pressure on the quarterback um i think we can hide our deficiency in, in the secondary but only if we're getting these quarterbacks off their perch uh, we see once again we were good on third down they were not so they were punting we only had to punt once the two turnovers hurt not a lot of penalties we couldn't force penalties out of them but it's it's okay it's okay it's our uh, first conference game as a university and i think we played well uh, i think yeah we, we we handled our business you know we got good quarterback play only one sack even with all the with all the pressure it seemed only got one sack they're they really good really sound with their linebackers we hope Womack is back we'll see once again receivers good job it's a three-headed monster uh, we'll start using uh, Darius Johnson and Womack out in the flat much much more try to get them out of situations where they're dependent on our offensive line because they're not getting much help once again Anna leaves us in tackles a couple of tackles for loss defensive uh front they've got to they've got to be something like we've got to get something out of them if anything allow for our, our guys to shoot gaps and other than that um I, off the top of my head i don't know who we play next week but every week we're going to keep adjusting and keep finding ways to attack we were able to go back to the base this week which which felt good except for the fact that it created certain matchups where our center was exposed and he got tossed around a lot and that, and that that a couple of big plays didn't work for us because of that. So we're gonna have to find this balance between running zone plays and running gap scheme plays. And what can we do to get our running backs out in space? Because our running backs out in space are slowly but surely becoming the type of guys you don't wanna be out in space against. Uh, yeah, but other than that, thank you for watching. See you guys next video. Eh? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe.